Hello guys and welcome to a new video of my channel. In this video, we are going to see how to install and use Windows 11 on Apple Silicon based Macs. The Macs transition to Apple Silicon in 2020 which started with the M1 SoC was more than just another processor transition. Rather, it was a revolutionary shift which reinvigorated the Mac product line due to which Macs were now significantly faster while having an unparalleled power efficiency and very low thermal output and entry-level Apple laptops like the MacBook Air which are now based on the M-series chips does not need a fan at all. Prior to the Apple Silicon transition, Macs were powered by Intel chips based on the x86-64 architecture which allowed users to run Windows on Macs through Apple's bootcamp software. However, Apple has not ported bootcamp to Apple Silicon and as of now has not expressed any desire to do so. Windows is widely used on the x86-64 architecture which Intel and AMD CPUs used. While Windows has been available on ARM for over a decade, Microsoft has only recently started taking Windows on ARM seriously and improving compatibility with existing applications. Can use the magic of virtualization to get Windows running on our Apple Silicon hardware. So let's switch to the screen capture and let me show you how we can install and use Windows 11 on Apple Silicon based Macs alongside Mac OS for free without using paid software like Parallels Desktop or VMware Fusion. Open any browser and head to google.com and search for UTM. Then click on the first link that appears. Once the page loads, download the installer file onto your system. Now we need to download the guest tools also. For this, click on the support hyperlink, then on the right side of the page, then click on guest support on the left side of the page. Now, in the table of content section, click on windows and then scroll down to the download section. Click on the link, download the guest tools ISO. Now open another tab and head to Google again and search for Windows 11 on ARM and then click on the first link that you see. When the page opens, select Windows 11 in the select download drop down and then click on download now button. Let it do its thing. Now select your preferred language and click on confirm. Now click on download now again to start downloading the Windows 11 ARM ISO. Click on allow if it asks for permission. Once these three files finish downloading, it's a good idea to organize them and keep them in a common location like inside a folder. To install the UTM hypervisor, double click on the utm.dmg file. When it opens, drag the UTM icon to the application folder and wait for a few seconds. Then open the launchpad and see if the app has reflected or not. On clicking the UTM app, the OS will ask you if you really want to open this file or not. Click on open. As you can see, the UTM app has opened successfully. Now we will move on to create our Windows 11 virtual machine in the next step.
Now let's create a virtual machine. For this, click on the plus glyph icon which says create a new virtual machine. Here you will see two options, virtualize or emulate. Select virtualize. Now select windows as the operating system here. Ensure that the checkboxes which say install windows 10 or higher and install drivers and spice tools are selected. To mount the windows 11 ISO, click on browse. Then navigate to the directory where the windows 11 ISO is located. Once you have located the ISO, click on open. Then click on continue. In this step, we need to allocate memory for the VM. Based on your host system's configuration, select the appropriate amount. Anything about 8GB is okay. I am going for 12GB here. Then select the amount of CPU cores you need. Then click on continue. Now we need to select the amount of storage to be allocated for VM. I'll allocate 256GB in this case. Click on continue. For the shared directory, you can skip this step or you can select a folder and then click on continue. Now we need to enter a name for this VM. Enter a name of your choice. If all the details are filed, click on save. If you still want to tweak some configuration, click on this Apacus like glyph icon near the top right corner of this window. If you intend to make some changes, you can check each of the sections. And if you made some changes, click on save. Else, you can click on cancel. Click on the play icon to start the virtual machine. Press any key on the keyboard so that the VM boots from the Windows 11 ISO image that we downloaded. Here is the familiar and lively Windows 11 out of the box experience. Confirm if your region is correct or not, then click on yes. Then you need to confirm if your keyboard layout is correct or not. If you don't want to add another layout, you can skip the process. To bypass the irritating Microsoft account requirement, press Shift plus Fn plus F10 keys together on your keyboard to invoke a command prompt window. Now enter this command OOBE backslash bypass NRO and then hit enter key. Your VM will reboot. Click on the I don't have internet option to set up a local account. Now we need to enter our local account's username. Oops, that did not work. Let's retry. Now enter a password. Then click on next and re-enter the same password which you entered previously. Then click on next. Now select 3 security questions and their answers. Now tweak the privacy settings as per your preferences and then click on accept.
as you can see we have successfully installed windows 11 on our vm as we are in the desktop environment but we are not done yet we need to do some post installation tasks like installing the guest tools and necessary drivers ensure that the guest tools iso image is mounted in the vm Now open file explorer and click on this PC. Select a drive which contains the guest tools image. Double click on the setup file. Click on yes. Then click on next. Click on I agree and let it do its thing. This will take a few moments to finish installing. Okay, so the screen went blank, but don't panic. You can always restart the VM and repeat the installation process. I had already reinstalled the guest tools, but I don't have any footage of that. As you can see, the resolution has increased, but the translucency effects are not working. So let's shut this VM down. Let's try a different virtual graphics card. Click on save. When you enter full screen mode on your Windows 11 VM, you might notice that some UI elements appear small. To fix this, right click on the desktop, select display settings and adjust the scale factor according to your preference. And that's it. Windows 11 is now running on your Apple Silicon Mac all thanks to virtualization. Whether it's for those Windows only apps or just testing things out, you are all set. Thanks for tuning in and if you found this video useful, hit that like button, consider subscribing and drop a comment if you have got any questions or suggestions. I'll sign off for now and I will see you in the next video. Take care guys.